forward. All right, hello and welcome. My name is Shauna and this is our Movement Basics class. And we are gonna be using a little bit of some dumbbells today. If you have some light to moderate dumbbells around, we'll utilize those in our second and third series. We're gonna do a short stretch to get started and then we'll be largely working off of our feet for most of the session today. But anytime you need to take a break, if you wanna sit down in your chair, just listen to your body, do what you need to do. And if you're not already seated, go ahead and join me in the chair. You're going to kind of come to the edge of the chair, sit up nice and tall. I'm going to have both feet flat on the ground and try to sit right up out of your sit bones. We're going to do our seated cat cow to get some movement started here. So I'm going to bring the hands to the bottom of your thighs. As you breathe in, I want you to draw your belly towards the spine, drop your chin toward your chest, and roll your shoulders forward. And then as you breathe out, slide the hands up as if you have hands in your pockets, elbows pull behind you, lift the head and neck. Just like that, breathing in, reach forward, head bows down. Breathing out, elbows pull behind the torso, try to lengthen through your collarbones. It's really nice. Three more. See if you can breathe through the nose, out through the mouth, lifting, push that chest out. Two to go. Long breath in, chin tucked in, reaching forward, and smooth breath out. Wonderful. Final time. Remember this movement anytime you feel stiff and can't get out of the chair. It's a great way to warm up the spine. Awesome. Let's warm up the ankles next. Readjust as needed, lift the one foot up, interlace the hands in front of that shin, and now draw your shoulders back and down as we go into some ankle circles. Good. And then we'll turn the ankle the other way. Excellent. If you're able to, we're gonna swing this foot up and over the opposite leg and kind of use that downside leg to pull the foot over. And now readjust the hands, readjust the posture, sitting back up, and now pull the knee towards the opposite shoulder. So you start to lengthen through the glutes here. If you can gently turn the head, looking over the shoulder on the side that you're stretching the hip. And when you're ready, go ahead and unwind your body, set that leg down. We'll get ready for the same thing on the second side. So ankle rolls first, interlace the hands, draw the shoulders back and down, and turn through that foot and ankle. Good. Rotate the opposite direction. Point the toes, lift the toes, circle it all around. Awesome, and then we're gonna swing the leg over, reposition the hand, eyes up, and now hug towards that opposite side of the body. Good, and gentle rotation, looking over the shoulder on the same side. And some nice smooth breathing. Fantastic, when you're ready, go ahead and unwind, uncross the legs, and let's make your way up to standing. Fantastic. All right, feel free to have the chair around, but you can also set it aside. I wanna make sure you're not gonna hit your arms into the chair. And next we're gonna move into our tree branch arms, a little bit of an extended warm up here now that we're up to the standing. See if you can gently rotate through the head and neck as well. Shoulders down, out of the ears. Lovely. And now let's start to let the elbows bend and just lightly, Make a gentle, soft fist. And now my hands are like tapping against the front and back of the torso, kind of in the area if you know where your kidneys are. And when possible, look to time the tap on your body with your exhale. So breathing out, breathing in as you pivot around. Wonderful way to move energy through your body, help shift your mood if you're kind of stuck in a bad mood. Or if you feel stiff through your body, it's a great way to kind of warm up your spinal column, get some good circulation. Awesome. Let's go ahead and stop the tapping. Go back those tree branch arms. 
Here, a nice eucalyptus tree, and then slowly coming to a stop. Wonderful. Go ahead and walk the feet in. Check in. We want those toes pointing up and forward. Make a fist, bring your arms to the side. And then when you're ready, we're going to start to march. Just gently lift one foot up and then the other, kind of pushing that big toe down so you can stay level through the hips as you march. Good. Try not to lean side to side. Try to stay up. There you go. Wonderful, Laura. Stomach draws in as the knee lifts up, helps stabilize your whole body. Oops, there goes my balance. <laughs> and two, one, pausing there. Next, we're gonna practice our toe touch. So we're gonna bring the hands to the thighs, just a little baby bend in the knees, they draw the belly in, chin to the chest. And now I'm gonna slide down, reaching for my ankles, reaching towards the floor, all depending upon how far you can go without any pain. And then when you're ready, breathing in, sliding back up the body. <sighs> Gradually stack the shoulders over the hips. Beautiful. Walk your feet a little bit wider. Bring your hands, palms onto the small of your back. And then with a little bend of the knees, squeeze your glutes and just very cautiously arch. Ah, open, lengthen, and release. Fantastic. Walk the feet back in. And now we're going to start to get a little bit of what we call like a cross body chop. So we're simply going to interlace the hands, making a fist with the feet about hip width apart. You're going to start by bringing your hand over to your right hip, like your pocket position. And now we're going to pivot through your right ankle as you bring the hands up to the left shoulder. Beautiful. Breathing in, push your hips back as you come down, breathing out, pivot through that right foot up and over the left shoulder. Excellent. A few more, push the hips back. And breathing out, turn the head and neck, look over that left shoulder as well. Excellent. Down, breathing out, squeeze the glute on that right hip as you pivot. Final time, breathing in, breathing out as you throw the water over the shoulder and rest. Good job. Shake out the arms. Maybe a little side step, swinging through those arms there. Good, a little side to side action. And then we're gonna balance it out on the opposite side. Excellent, all right. Toes pointing forward, midline nice and strong, interlace the hands. And now we'll start at your left hip and you're gonna extend standing tall, pivot the foot on your left over the right shoulder. Awesome, breathing in, hips push back. So I'm bowing down, breathing out, open. Really nice, breathing in, push the hips back. Breathing out, up and open. Lovely. Find your rhythm. Excellent. About 10 more seconds, two to three more times. Try to squeeze the torch on that left hip. Wonderful. Down and up. Final time. Down, push the hip back and pivot. Looking over that right shoulder. Wonderful job. All right. Back to our side step arm swing. See if you can practice crossing an opposite arm over, alternating which arm crosses over as you reach forward. Very nice. All right, friends. We're gonna go back to the top. We're gonna go one more time through that series with a little variation throughout. But first, with our march, we did kind of like a nice slow march last time. This time we're going to add a cross body punch with the arm. So as your right knee comes up, your left arm punches across. And same thing on the opposite side. As the left comes up, the right arm reaches over. Wonderful. Go ahead, nice strong breath out with that cross body punch. Try to stay square through the lower body. 10 seconds left. Shoulders down, out of the ears. Fully extend that elbow with a punch. Two, one, and resting there. Excellent. Next, we're gonna work into our windmill stretch. So I'm gonna walk the feet outside the hips, kind of root myself into my legs, breathe in, expand wide through the arms, and now nice and gradual, push the hips back, reach for your opposite knee, squeeze the bum, squeeze the shoulders together, and now we're going side to side. Stand and squeeze, breathing in, reaching over, 
Breathing out, all the way up. Lovely. Breathing in, little diagonal stretch. Awesome. One more each direction. First side and up. Second side and stand. Excellent. Walk those feet in. Cross chops are next. You can either stick with the hands interlaced or if you want to pick up a nice light dumbbell, I'm going to hold the dumbbell just like so. All right, we're going to start on your right hip. So I'm going to bring my hands or the dumbbell towards the your right. And now we're going to throw it up and over the left shoulder, pivot on the right foot. I'm going to turn the head, breathing in, pushing the hips back, coming on down, breathing out, extend, pivot, turn. Good. Over and up. Awesome. Breathing in. I'm not the best uh, visual on this, but I'm still watching those of you here live. Excellent. A couple more. Down and up. Ideally, you want to turn that head and neck, following the hands, looking over the shoulder. Final one. Down. Extend. Squeeze the glute and rest. Good job. Give me just a little side step. I'm going to still hold on to my weight. Let's give a little break. All right, let's balance out the second side. So root down through the legs, interlace the hands or hold on to your dumbbell, that baby bend in the knees, breathing in, come into your left hip and then breathing out, pivot on the left foot over the right shoulder. Beautiful, breathing in, hips back, breathing out, squeeze and stand tall. There you go. In and back. Up and open, right about halfway, down and up, really extend, feel the front of that hip. I get a nice stretch in the front of the hip on your left as I open, raising that arm up. One more time, down and up, turn the head and neck and rest. Excellent. If you were using a weight, go ahead and set it down, clear your space. So we did some sidestep arm swing last time. If you're up for a bigger challenge, we're gonna practice our up and overs. So you can imagine you have like an imaginary hurdle. You're gonna step up and over and then bring that other foot up and over. Good. I like to hold the arms wide and to help with that balance. So you can bring them in as they both come together. And then as I step up and over, I'm gonna reach out. Whew, really push that big toe down. And you can have your hurdle be a low or as high as you feel comfortable, but make sure you protect your knees. Holding strong, beautiful. 15 more seconds. Open the arms as you step wide, close the arms as you step in. Open and close, beautiful. Over, back, last one. Over and rest, perfect. All right, let's grab a drink. Next, we're gonna stretch. We're gonna open up our hip flexors, open up the upper body just a little bit. This baggy flannel off, I think I'm warm enough now. All right, once you're ready, come back to your mat or your area that you're working on the floor. We're gonna open our hips and upper body. So we're gonna mirror each other. It's gonna be my right foot. I invite you to step your left foot forward. You can rock your right heel back onto the ground. So we have our feet hip width apart. Left hand on the hip, take the right hand. I'm gonna push the hip back, push the hip forward as I raise the arm straight out in front of my body, reaching up to overhead, and then just a gentle side bend, reaching over the head. Good, and I want you to really focus on that trail leg. Try to squeeze the glute, and I'm still trying to push forward of that back hip. Excellent, go ahead and come out of that stretch, rest the arm down, and do it once again, just like that. I'm going to show you a bit more from the side. I'm going to bow forward, hips back, push the hip forward, squeeze the back of my body here, reach the arm up, and now bend the side, add that side stretch. Tuck your chin in if you can, kind of glance up past your bicep on your right arm. 
Really nice. I really feel it. Like even into my low back a little bit. Release the arm, rest the hips. And we're going to switch sides. All right. So establish your right foot forward. Step your left foot back. Stack the shoulders over the hips. Make sure that lead leg is planted well. And then when you're ready, breathe in. Get that shift of your hips forward as your left arm comes up. Excellent. And now we'll lean towards the right. <sighs> Trying to flex the glute of that left bum and ease it down. Arm down, hips back. Very good. We're going to push the hips back. Really shift the hip forward. Fire that glute. Breathe in. Raise the arm up. And now lean toward the side that you have the hand on the hip. Excellent. Chin draws in. So if you want to try to look up past your left bicep. Ah, and release down. Fantastic. Walk that back leg in. And then come to the chair. If you need to hold on, we're going to walk your squats next. So I can hold on to the back of the chair. You can just reach your arms straight out. Feet are about hip width apart, slight toe out. And then when you're ready, I'm going to hang on, push my knees wide, lower my hips down, and then drive through the floor, chest nice and tall, squeeze the back of the body. Excellent. Two to three more. Breathing in, reach. Good. Drive through the legs, standing all the way up. Lovely. When you're ready, eyes up, chest tall, knees wide. Good. And either rest there if you want to join me for one more time. Come on down. And standing on up. Really nice. Awesome. We're going to be doing a single arm dumbbell row next. So I'm going to use the chair. If you have a bench or even like the side of a couch, that works as well. If you have a light to moderate dumbbell, go ahead and bring that dumbbell over. Set it right on the seat of the chair, whatever surface you're working with. Before we come into position, we're going to just make a little fist and warm up those wrists a bit. You can just stay stationary through the hips, or you can get a little swivel through the hips as well. Turn the wrist the other way. Good. Perfect. And then just shake them out. Let the fingers be long. Shake the wrist. All right. Dumbbell row. We're going to start in the left hand. So step the right foot forward, left foot back, draw the stomach in, spread through your right hand as you support on the chair. Left arm's gonna pick up the dumbbell, reach down for your right ankle. And then when you're ready, you're gonna breathe out, pull the elbow nice and high, breathe in as you reach forward. Good. That's your rhythm, elbow up and reaching down. Chin in, eyes looking either straight down at that front foot or focus on the front hand. We're going to be working for 40 seconds. That's four zero. We're halfway through already. Sending out our reps just a little bit. It's our first of two rounds. Good. Elbow high. Breathing in, reaching forward, breathing out. Elbow up. One more time. Reach down, pull up and rest. Good job. We're going to stand it up in between sides. <sighs> Shake it out. Very good. And in between sides, we're going to practice a little bit of balance, our sway step. So you're going to spread your feet wide, spread the arms out, squeezing those shoulders back. And then just like it's called, we're going to sway our body to one side, coming onto one leg if you feel steady. In between sides, kind of crouch down, cross your arms, and then lift as you shift your weight over. Squeeze those shoulders back. Beautiful. Coming down, lifting up. See if you can hold for one, two, maybe upwards of three seconds. Lovely. Break in between sides. Lift and hold. Squeeze. Beautiful. One more time each direction. Breathing in, breathe out, hold and lift. Awesome. Final time. Breathe in. And breathe out. I'm kind of squeezing this glute on that extended leg and rest. Excellent. Making your way back to position. This time it's the left foot that's forward, right foot that's back. We're back to our dumbbell row, this time in the right arm. 
wide handprint through the left. Go ahead and pick up your dumbbell in the right arm and reaching down for the left foot. When you're ready, here we go. Elbow up. You want to try to think shoulder down out of the ear. Elbow nice and high, looking to split above your torso. Breathe in and out the nose here as able, or in the nose and out the mouth. Excellent. 30 seconds in, 10 seconds left. Working that strong posture at the top, squeeze it in, reach it forward, and two, one, and rest. Excellent work. Stand it up. Very good. Next, we're going to see if we can go a little bit deeper into that hip flexor stretch by stretching the quad. So hold on. Looking to grab that foot, pulling that heel towards the glute. Nice. This is a tough one. So, those of you that can't get that foot, you can keep with what we did before we started this set with that stagger stance. Otherwise, those holding on less than 10 seconds. And when you're ready, let go of the foot. In between sides, let's do our figure eights. So hands on the hips, and then we're just gonna try to make an affinity sign or the figure eight with your hips. Ah, loosen it all up. Lovely, and then we'll start to pivot the other way. Flow with it, go with it. Awesome. And let's get ready for that opposite leg. Balance, lift, or stagger and reach. This quad stretch is just getting deeper into the muscle on the front of the thigh. That stagger stance is also a great alternative. Fantastic. A bit of an advanced stretch for this level, but was, there are people in this group that can do it. So I like to keep that exposure. Something to aspire to, something to maintain. Beautiful job. We're going to release that foot. We're going to be back to our squats here in about 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and take a little water break. Those of you that feel confident with your squats, you can work without holding on. And if you want to hold a light dumbbell underneath the chin, or even if you have a water bottle, you can go a little bit of weight on this last round. I'm going to show without holding on to weight, but up to you. You can hold it right underneath the chin. Set the feet. We're going to take about 45 seconds to practice. This will be our final time working the squats today. So when you're ready, either holding on as you send the feet back or reaching out of feet back. Goodness, send your hips back and standing all the way up. Lovely. Good. Breath in, eyes up and forward. Push the heels into the ground as well as the big toes. All the way up. Beautiful. Less than 30 seconds. Breathe in. How far can you get those hips down? Eyes forward. Push that chest up. Really nice, Laura. 15 seconds. One or two more. Down, down, down. And up strong. Last time. Breathing in. Sitting back. Breathing out. All the way through. Awesome job. Woo! All right, good work. Shake out the arms. Let's get ready for the dumbbell row in the left arm. So that means it's going to be the right foot forward, left foot back. Nice long spine, wide hand as you support the right hand, and then win the left arm, reaching straight down and in. And again, when you're ready, 40 seconds here, four zero. Staying engaged through the stomach. Breathing nice and consistent. And you're really giving that focus to that mid back as you pull that elbow up. See if you can kind of feel into the area of your shoulder blade, trying to squeeze it in towards that spine, helping that mid back posture. 10 seconds left. Good. Three, two, 
One, set it down, stand it up. Woo. Get the blood back to the head. <laughs> I felt it a little bit myself. Sway, steps, feet outside the hips. Breathe in, spread the arms wide. And now just as it sounds, we're gonna sway to one side. Good, breathe in, kind of bow down. Breathe out, shift your weight towards the opposite. You can keep the foot down or come on a single leg. You know your body better than me. Count and trying to hold on this other side. Awesome. Down and lift up through the belly, squeezing through the back of the shoulders. That helps the balance once more each way. Down and lift. Yep. Last one. Second side, good focus. Great practice. Ooh, and rest. Excellent. Getting ready to finish out that dumbbell row. This time in the right arm. Swing my chair around so I can see you all better. So when you're holding the right in the right arm, left foot forward, right foot back, spread that left hand. And two, one, here we go. 40 seconds here. Sometimes we kind of shrug the shoulder up and forward. So drive it back. I like to pretend I've got a piece of string on the back of the elbow, pulling that elbow straight up towards the ceiling. Halfway through. Notice if you start to lose that head forward, draw the chin and kind of lift through the chest. Staying engaged, pushing through that left arm. Good, last time, reach down, pull it high, and take that rest. Woo. Walk the feet in. Get your whereabouts. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, and circle through. Just the cool down stretch remaining. All right, then circle the hips the other way. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, we're gonna use the back of the chair to stretch the calves a little bit. So if you need to kind of, you can use a countertop as well. Something that I can push into, move my water bottle. Start with the arms nice and extended. You're gonna take your right foot, long step back. You wanna lower that heel down, draw the shoulders down, and then just push through the arms. Heel flat on the ground. And then with the heel still on the ground, you can just ever so gently kind of bend that knee towards the floor and then extend it back up to a straight knee. So the leg that's all the way back, just ever so gently bend the knee down and then extend the knee out. Couple more, down and out. Just changes where in the muscle you feel that stretch. Last one. Beautiful. Walk that back foot in. In between sides, we're going to stand tall. So that was my right leg. But we're going to stretch behind the back first before we move to my left. Extend, lift the arms away. You can either stay tall or if you want to add a forward fold. If you've been a little lightheaded this morning, I would just recommend staying upright. Otherwise, hips push back, arms pull over the torso. Chin towards the chest, looking between your thighs. Woo! On that next inhale, coming back up. Release the arms. And let's get ready to stretch the left calf. So coming back to your position, draw the shoulders out of the ears, nice straight arms. And now the left foot, long step back, lowering that heel down. Just stay here at first. Watch that those shoulders don't start to lift up. So drawing them back and down, eyes pointing forward. Especially once you start to feel that left length starting to relax. Now with the heel still on the ground, I just ever so slightly bend the knee down and then extend the leg out. Bend it down, extend, couple more. Very subtle. And walk it in. 
Excellent. All right, we're gonna finish this session from the chair. That's right, keep the hydration going. Excellent job, everyone. First thing from seated, we're gonna to try to open up the shoulders a bit more. So we're gonna do tricep stretch. Right arm reaches up in the air, bend that elbow, and then chin in, looking to reach around. You can grab that elbow, you're gonna pull it back behind. I'm laughing at my dog. He's about to fall out of the beanbag chair, leaning away from the side, stretching. <laughs> there you go, Moose. <laughs> oh, good. Coming up, release that arm. Circle through the head and neck. Just circle the other way. And now we're gonna get ready for that second tricep. So reach the arm straight up, bend the elbow, chin in as you reach around, pulling back. Check and lean away. That's my curly tail, moose dog. Just one minute, moose. I know, one second. And release there. We're gonna go into a forward fold, hands on the thighs, stomach draws in as you tuck the chin down, slide the hands towards the floor. Then breathe into the back of your body about three times. After that third breath, gradually make your way back up. Ah. And then we're going to do two more finishing stretches. Hips first, figure four, and then we'll do our final breathing together. So now we're going to cross the foot over the opposite knee, grab on to the ankle, Ooh, lower that knee down, and see if you can engage this foot by pulling it back towards that same side. Sit nice and tall here. And great time to close the eyes and just sort of feel into your body. See if you can focus on allowing that outer hip to relax and lengthen. Feel your rib cage ideally expand as you breathe in. Press as you breathe out a couple more times. When you're ready, gradually make your way out of that figure four. And then we'll switch legs. Same thing on the opposite side, picking it up, crossing over, and inviting that knee to lower down. So remember to engage the ankle, draw the foot towards the same side knee. And then check in, are we shrug up, shrug down, long neck, and then close the eyes and breathe here. We train the body, putting some intentional stress on our body with exercise. And then as we conclude our exercise sessions, we wanna to try to use our breath, use our body to shift gears from that intentional stress to now that recovery state. That's where we get the benefits of the exercise because our body recovers and ideally comes back stronger. Gradually make your way out of that figure four. Good. All right, sit up nice and tall in your chair. Final breaths together. We're gonna go ahead and bring the palms in, in front of the heart. Good, now we'll breathe in, reach up. Try to lift all the way up out of the hips. And then relax down. Fantastic. Twice more. Breathe in some gratitude. Give thanks for the time you take to care for yourself. Especially around the holidays, it's really easy to get too busy. 
set aside, caring for your body, focusing on all the other things in our world. And then breathe out any stress, tension, all the shoulds that we kind of collect in our life. Wonderful. All right, friends. Thank you so much. Especially as the weather is getting colder, stay hydrated, keep that water going. It's going to help your muscles. It's going to help your nervous system. It's going to help basically pretty much every single process in your body, plus give you more energy and strengthen your immune system. So stay hydrated, stay healthy, and I hope to move with you soon.